Hello guys, welcome to Family Reaction. My name is Chris. My name is Lisa. If you're new to this channel, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always sit home when we go live with our premiere. Today we will take a look at Chai Time Comedy with Kenny Sebastian. Ten biscuits you have with tea. Let's jump right into it. Tea, shall we? Tea. I'm a tea. Lover. <laughs> So, I thought I'll do something fun. What do you like drinking? What do you like eating with chai? What's your favorite thing to eat? Chai. Tea biscuits? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's normal. Awesome. Toast. One guy's like, toast, bro. Toast. What kind of toast? Normal toast. Cheese toast. What is it? Did you say toast? <laughs> He's like, don't put the responsibility on me. <laughs> Who said toast? Yeah, yeah. What kind of toast do you have? Rask. Rask you have? Mm. Sir, are you a dog, sir? Are you a... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry. No, it's not kidding. Rask is <laughs> such an awkward biscuit. You have to give it to them. How did the hell did they market Rask? It's like, sir, we manufacture all the biscuits. There's some, some, some shit remaining, sir, from all the biscuit manufacturing, which is bright, sir, has no life. The animals are getting scared from it, sir. We try to put put into mattresses. The mattresses become hard, sir. So we put in the sun, and after 20 days, it was still the same, sir. <laughs> sir, how do, what do we do with this, sir? Call it Rask. <laughs> have a lot of biscuits with me. Let's do the biscuit review. <laughs> Whistle? <laughs> yeah, it's all surprise and stuff. Okay, now, now, now the first one is um, a very arrogant biscuit that uh, revolved his entire marketing strategy, uh, strategy I can do this, I can do this. A, B, C, D, H, G, H, start a G. <laughs> School was always tough. Um, so the, this biscuit marketed itself as a chai biscuit and literally no one freaking has this with chai, which is Mari Gold, of course. Mm. Mari Gold like, hey, have, have a chai, please, please, have a chai. It's one lifeless, shield-looking tea coaster biscuit. If you don't want to eat it, just put it down, put a cup on it, please, just eat it, man. Please. It's named after my auntie who I had hot for. <laughs> Sorry. You can't talk about tea unless you have Pali okay? So. Fun story, this is actually a missing child, so oh, there's, no. there's no copyright problem there, there's no copyright. <laughs> so this is a lovely, only 10 rupees. At one point, I think Paliji is going to go to negative at some point. <laughs> Only minus 10. <laughs> I like Paliji because Paliji uh, is like your, it's like, you know that friend in your group who's just trying to fit in? <laughs> who has no personality. He just becomes a personality depending on the situation. So if you dip this in tea, it becomes tea flavor. You're like, wow, Paliji, thank you. It's like, mm. I have no feelings. <laughs> It's just dead inside. Paliji has no preferences. You put Paliji in water, also be equally happy. Yeah, yeah, fucking dip me anywhere. Just go, dip me. Do something, man. Just, I'm ten bucks. Seriously, just. Uh, the goodie biscuit is is uh, your uncle who comes to your gathering, even though he's not invited. But it's okay. He's there. He doesn't talk much. Doesn't interfere with anybody. Very calm. You know, you say, Hi, Uncle, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Reliable uncle, you know, he won't annoy you. Currently, 10 p.m., everyone's leaving. He's like, you know, everyone's going out also, bro. You know? <laughs> That's a good day. Good day is just one boring uncle. They try it and all with flavors and all. Now, good day with nuts. <laughs> now, good day with butter. <laughs> now, good day with good day. <laughs> No, this is very disturbing. Mari digestive. Suddenly everyone's like, what the fuck? Mari is not digestible. Huh? <laughs> like, why would you do this to your own brand? <laughs> why would you? It's like, it's like Maggie is like, here's Maggie. Now you're safe, Maggie. You're like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What does this mean? Okay, who the fuck buys Monaco? I don't know. Does anyone buy Monaco? Yeah, why do they make these? Why? Uh, so at one point, they mark, they tried to change their marketing. They were like, oh, take Monaco and put cheese and put capsicum on it. 
we can do that with anything, Monaco. <laughs> I can do that with literally anything. I can, I can put that on bread and make, oh, that's a sandwich. <laughs> that's kind of why I get very annoyed when people buy Monaco. I'm like, this much imagination also you don't have. Oh, okay, this one, this one, fan, oh, this is so yummy as hell, Jim Jams, oh, look at you guys. I love Jim Jams. Everyone's like, <laughs> I need some, bro. I have seen uh, professional relationships get destroyed in office pantries. Okay, 50-50. Okay. I used to eat this shit like Pringles, bro. This is the Pringles of biscuits. You can't just have one. You're like, what am I doing? Ah, ah. <laughs> just four of them at one point. We started experimenting too much. I just stuck to that silver one. It was peaceful. Just, just they were like, what can we do, sir? What can we do? It's actually selling well. Sir, but every day it's so successful, you don't do anything in office, sir. Can you make correct him, huh? It's not so funny, also. Chumma. On that time, you guys. <laughs> this is Bourbon, dude. Oh, Bourbon. I was in a, I was a defense kid, like my dad in the defense and this was the most expensive thing that used to come out of the canteen. Yeah? This is the best biscuit ever. It's so beautifully designed. <sighs> like sometimes I should not use a scale, I should use this and make tasty lines. This is chocolate cream, huh? Chocolate cream. And chocolate biscuit. I'm sure like when they had the meeting, they said chocolate cream and chocolate oh, biscuit. Bro, stop, bro! So, bro. It's all for you, right? Well, yeah, you can have them just on the right. Ah. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Okay. Some people call it bon bon. <laughs> you know who you but are. But now I can't have it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Now, all of you like friends, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. You know why we like friends? Because it secretly makes us feel American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what America is. It's nice. Mm -hmm. That's what Oreo is. <laughs> when you feel kind of like insecure about being Indian, you're like, hey bro, I'm cool. I have American biscuit. <laughs> Oreo is not that great, guys. <laughs> but it's fun to react like, whoa, Oreo, bro, bro, I love Oreo. Oh, oh, put it in a milkshake. I want an Oreo milkshake. Oh, put it in a sandwich. I want an Oreo sandwich. Oh, bro, my face. <laughs> now, this is, uh, okay, this is crackers. If anybody's eaten this, can you raise your hands? You've eaten it? Why, why do you guys eat it? Are you guys a parrot? <laughs> if an animal is associated with liking a biscuit, don't buy that biscuit. I am not kidding. The first time someone gave me crackers, I was like, this biscuit is rotten. <laughs> you like, have to put no, something on it's it. It's like that only. Oh, wasn't that what I'm you like, gave me last time? Eat out, bro. Oh. Stop giving me old parathas and saying, no, no, it's a tortilla. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's rotten biscuits if you put it outside and you package it. This is American rusk. <laughs> I don't know why people are buying it. I want to introduce a biscuit to you. It's like my giving. I don't know if homie, if you guys know about nice time. Yeah? 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 Are you guys Malayali or South Indian by any chance? <laughs> yes, you are, right? Yeah. You are South Indian? Yeah? I don't know. You know why it's... Because there's a fucking coconut tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's a simple marketing you have to do to get a South Indians to buy anything. <laughs> Why do you buy this tablecloth? Uh, I, don't, I don't want tablecloth. So there's a coconut tree. Give me five! <laughs> <laughs> nice time, there's a biscuit which has sugar on top of it. It's not powdered sugar. It's your normal gharka sugar. <laughs> Literally, some five Malayali aunties just put it in the cell. But it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Okay, I can't do a biscuit thing without bringing up little hearts. Uh, I don't know how it does that, right? Like you're like, oh, I'm having a bad day, but I have a biscuit. Oh, I'm having a bad day, I have a biscuit with little hearts. Oh. You feel like you're having the hearts of little children, no? Like some kids are dying in some hospital, like, oh. this is melting your hearts, it's the best thing ever. This is one biscuit I'll take home after the show. It's awesome, dude. I'm sure there's cocaine in this. The classic means cocaine. 
Okay, so actually, uh, hide and seek, I call it the Rithik Roshan biscuit. This in Milano. Oh, Milano, what have you done to my bakery? That is a weird ass ad. <laughs> so, hide and seek is like, again, like, it, it feels like you're eating a bathroom tile. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. This could definitely be used as a bathroom tile. The biscuit that triumphs all of this is bakery biscuit. I don't know, it, I think this happens in South India. You'll have uh, bakeries with like glass tumblers and they'll sell biscuits. It happens here also, right? But usually here when I've seen it, looks like infested with freaking some... I feel like damn curry, like when someone's like, bro, give me that biscuit, like which one? The packet or no, the one in the glass jar. I'm like, bro, you are freaking balls you have, bro. <laughs> we should try this, it's the best of all of these. And uh, that brings us to the end of Biscuit Review. Yeah. That's good. Like these biscuits. I feel really bad when I go to a clothing store. I'm like, ye dikhao, ye dikhao, ye shirt dikhao, ye jeans dikhao. Mujhe kuch nahi chahiye, and you leave. <laughs> you have to put all the fucking pants and shirts back, fold them. Hey, bhaiya, bhaiya, ek minute, wo apas rak diya, kyu? Oh, I'm not imitating girl. That's how I talk in shops. <laughs> That's me in the shop. Bhaiya! <laughs> Bro! My child has become cold. <laughs> so sad, no? Something so awesome becomes so bad when it's cold. <laughs> like dead bodies. <laughs> but thank you so much for liking the shirt. You can notice I'm wearing a Mubarakish t-shirt, which is also closely going for charity. Good news from oh, the last t-shirt. We okay, sold sorry. about a thousand <laughs> freaky t-shirts. Of course. There you have it, guys. And I love this because I am a tea drinker, like big time tea drinker. I'm not joking. Like, I drink tea, 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 tea all day long. It is a very British thing to do. Um, and it's quite funny what he was talking about with those heart biscuits that literally, like, if you have a bad day, it's like, oh, I'll have a heart biscuit, whatever, and then you feel, like, 100% better. This is the British attitude to tea, so I could literally come home from school and be like, I had the worst day ever, literally, this went wrong, I failed this exam, but my dad would be like, have a nice cup of tea. Everything is basically have a nice cup of tea, and everything is solved. You know, that is our attitude here. You could literally be dying on the street. Have a cup of tea. We basically, we walk over to the kettle, you know, and someone tells us something. Tea. Tea is everything. Tea heals us. It's comforting. Reading a book without tea, mm, the book doesn't make as much sense. You have to drink tea. I don't drink tea. He, he likes coffee, except he can't drink it anymore because of his celiac disease. Mm. But You know what I drink? Red Bull, yeah, Red Bull all the way. This, this is it. my Red Bull, and this is this can be yours. <laughs> you just gotta buy it. It is so till okay. Uh -oh, it's not an ad word, okay? Um, you have just advertised a tea. Now I advertise yeah. Red Bull. Here is Red Bull. No, no, all you need no, for no, happiness. No, no, no. This is not <laughs> the same. You have to have a warm mug, and it makes you feel cozy and warm inside. And you sip it, and everything is just fine. I mean, it does, it kind of makes sense, you know? I, I think tea is really good for me as well. Obviously, we have to be careful about our caffeine intake, but I have tried, honestly. I've tried for like a week going, right, I'm not going to drink any caffeine and whatever. I feel so much worse. I know you get withdrawal symptoms, but I'm like, hell no. You know what? I don't do anything bad. I don't drink alcohol. I don't, I'm going to stick to my tea. I love it. And another thing, so our equivalent of maybe, what was the first one? Was it Marigold? Yeah, Marigold, the uh, first maybe one. Maybe not Marigold. I think is, I don't really know those biscuits actually, but he was talking about the boring biscuit. I think that was oh, the yeah, second the one, angle, wasn't it? Yeah. I, the boring yeah. one. So we have a biscuit called the rich tea biscuit, or you call them like digestive biscuits. I'm not sure if you have those in India. You'll have to let me know. They're probably called something else. But they are really boring, really. Like, if you just sat there eating, you'd be like, well, there's no flavour. But they're like the perfect complement to tea. And so dipping your rich tea biscuit in your tea, just before it gets soggy, like before it falls in, and then you taste it, and it just makes the tea taste better. And it's yummy. And so uh, that's our equivalent. Enough about tea, please. No, 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 no. I could go on all night. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Ken is Sebastian, we have watched him before and he is hilarious as yeah, usual. Yeah, I was going to say, He's I'm really, hilarious. really... And what I like about Kenny Sebastian as well is that a lot of the time with comedians, they're kind of 
as much as they're so funny, you think that they are kind of the oddballs. They've got these like kind of characters where you think, you know what, if you weren't actually doing your show, you'd be really out of place. But I really like Kenny Sebastian because he looks like the type of guy that you could have a beer with in the pub. He's cool. Like he, he's still funny, but he's really cool yeah. at the same time. And he's got like a really nice character. So I, I just, it's like for me, a lot of the comedians I like are like kind of crazy and really geeky. And you think, you know what, if I met you in real life, you wouldn't cut it. But I think if I met him in real life, I'd really, really like him. I just, I think he's a really cool guy and he's funny. Mm, I would like to go to his show yeah, because he is funny. Cool. And you can see, you can see, he also interact with people when they say, ask him something, right? Yeah, but he's not mean to them because mm. some com comedians have this kind of tactic where like to get the laughs, they kind of put someone down and look, it happens, you know, it's quite funny. I, I have seen but that too, yeah. Exactly. It's but horrible. He can, he can make you laugh, but without being actually mean. Like, he can kind mm. of still single that person out, but he's kind of cool with it. He laughs but with it. But he says, no, I'm joking. Yeah, he, and he's, he's admitting it. Yeah. Where other people are just, you have seen other comedian, they are like harsh. Oh, your mom is so bad. And then, yeah, then, yeah. They, then they say, then they don't even joke. And then they, then they don't even say it. They don't yeah. say they're joking. And they're just going out to the next joke. Yeah. And it's such an easy way to get laughs. It's like, do you know yeah. what? That's not a proof of your like talent as a comedian because you know what? That's just kind of bullying. Yeah. Actually, I went to one comedy sketch show um, in a pub. I can't remember the name of the comedian. He wasn't particularly famous, but he was. He had quite a following though, like in the sort of underground circuit. Anyway, one of his tactics was to make everyone stand up in the audience. Okay, literally like a lineup, and one by one, he was going across, kind of going. Hi, so you were definitely the fat kid in school, and you, well, obviously, you got the looks, but you ain't got no brains. It was like he literally went across the whole line, just putting everyone down. I remember thinking, that okay, was not this very is, nice. yeah, that was like a whole other level. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen yeah. a lot of these comedians, and they won't get far if they only will bully people, right? Mm. Without saying, no, I'm, it's all just for joke, you know? And um, mm -hmm. when they just say, hey, you! Yes, you, you are so damn ugly and don't, don't admit it as a joke after. It's just like you are ugly and they go over to the next person, right? Whenever he get the chance. Um, that's where we need more like Kenny Sebastian, Kevin Hart, because Kevin Hart is a really awesome comedian as well. I, I love Kevin Hart and he, he he jokes and when he says something, he's, he do what uh, Kenny Sebastian does and say, say, no, I'm just joking, bro. You know, he's, yeah. that's what you should do. Like, don't hurt people. But be, be nice to them afterwards, you know? Because otherwise you're only getting nervous laughs. People are just yeah. laughing because <laughs> like they're uncomfortable, exactly. you know? It's not a real Welcome laugh. to Denmark. <laughs> That's what, what they do. It. They do it too much in Denmark. Oh. You're just like, dude, can't you say it's a joke or something? Uh, you, you, because it's, it's happening yeah. a lot there. They are hardcore. They are hardcore. They have very mm. dark, dark humor, right? It's just like, um, mm. you know what? It, there's no word for it. It's just... Um, it's horrible. I, I, I wouldn't. I don't laugh at Danish comedians. I can't laugh at it because it's all about sex, mm. drugs, and whores and all these. You motherfucker! Mm. Why, why is that even funny? I, I can't. I can't find it funny. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's why I don't like Danish uh, comedians. Mm. Um, it's. I just don't find it funny. Okay, there is one. There's only one, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but he pretends he's a. He's an idiot. He's like. Oh, I want that one. <laughs> you know, he's he's an, okay. He's funny because it's the way that he speaks and all that, right? Mm. And um, he has funny humors. He has funny humors. That's only one. The others are too stupid. They're just like uh, yeah. it's all about who did a fuck yesterday and all that. Mm. It's, I don't find it funny, you know. But they find it funny, and they, why else would they be famous in Denmark? I'm just like, how the hell yeah. did you get that career? But maybe it's just Denmark that has such a fucked up humor right mm. uh, but I, I never understood it my brother get it I don't get it I'm just like how can you get something like mm. that that is so out of nowhere right um, I think you, they should make more comedy that everybody understands like Kenny Sebastian mm. Kevin Hart um, what is this uh, this guy from the Late Late Show Yeah, he's a comedian mm. as well um, but not a proper comedian, yeah, you know, yeah. but they are funny. They, they are something that everyone can re rely on. Everybody mm -hmm. want to see like uh, Kenny Sebastian, you understand? Mm -hmm. Something that everybody want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Not something that only the assholes want to be a part of, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you go to Denmark, don't watch their comedy because it sucks. <laughs> Unless you want to be dissed completely, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how it is. 
But um, yeah. We have some great comedians in the UK, but I'm not going to go on about them now because oh. I could be here all day. But um, no, I I really really. Uh, Megan Dyer. Oh, Michael McIntyre. Oh, I mean, look, he's my favorite I uh, comedian love Michael in the UK. McIntyre. Oh. Um, I like also he's not as well known. He's in lots of shows, but I like Johnny Vegas. He's funny too. But oh. he's Johnny Vegas is a funny one. He's kind of he's very he's kind of depressed. He is a bit he is dark, but he's just funny he's one of those guys where he just walks in the room and you laugh though and I think sometimes with comedians there was actually this kind of article about how many comedians have actually got quite a funny face so even before they speak they make you laugh it's like having that kind of just thing about you yeah you know um yeah and they were saying that so some with them they've got this talent before they even speak and he's one of these guys he walks into the room and straight away you're laughing your head off he, he's hilarious you know yeah absolutely love him but anyway we could go on lots yeah it's already <laughs> getting too long i know i tried yeah. not to talk about it <laughs> let me hear what you guys think comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to the notification bell Ping. so you can always stay tuned when we go live with you from you until next time bye Peace.